back at the Grand Union Canal. You've seen it on the show a couple of times before, but we're at a different spot. We are in West Drayton, and every day when I wait for the train at West Drayton Station to take me into work, I've noticed people walking along the, the towpath. In fact, I can just see the station from here. And I thought, wouldn't it be nice just to come along for a walk and have a look from the other side? So that is exactly what we're doing today. West Drayton Station. People waiting on the platform for the next train to come in. On one side it goes to London Paddington and on the other it heads out towards Reading and Didcot Parkway. There's the um, Elizabeth Line service to Reading just coming in. After we're done with this pole we could actually take the towpath the whole way home. What do you think? How long would that take? I'm not sure. I think we'll have to look it up. But, you know, it's a nice day and it would save £1.65 on the bus. Well, I don't want to barge in on someone's home. There's a little bit of wildlife. I see a birdie and also some cyclists. If you want more information about the canals, please visit the Canal and River Trust website. The address is on the screen now. What are you doing, Marcus? Oh, I'm subscribing to our show. It's so easy to do. All you need to do is hit the subscribe button. So please do subscribe. <laughs> well, this is exciting, isn't it, Paul? Yes, it is. We are going to take a trip on a brand new bus. It has started to run on one of the routes where we live and it is completely digital. Uh, it's got digital displays, it's got phone charging units at every seat and it's got a little button, to, you know, the stop button on the back of every seat as well as on the pole. So no matter where you're sitting, you don't have to freak out that you're not near one of the buttons because that's what always worries me. So let's take a look at the brand new U5. So what do you think of it so far, Paul? It's quite good, actually. I do like the announcements. U5 to Stockley Park. And it just smells like a new, almost like a new car. Of course, it's a new bus, but it's fantastic. It is quite smooth, even over some of the humps on the road. Yeah, I'm giving the U5 a thumbs up.
a sunroof as well. Oh, wow. Station Road. Thank you very much. I haven't been cleaning my strawberries well either. Um, I've learned recently that in order to really kill off any bacteria and mold from your strawberries, you need four parts water and one part vinegar. And once you submerge them into this bath, it should last about three weeks so they will be nice and fresh and especially tasty so let's take a look so first thing i am going to do is place them into this uh tub measuring four like one part vinegar hey that looks like about half a pint to me is that right Maybe. So that should make it easy. But what's this? This is also some vinegar that I had in a spray bottle. <laughs> okay, so it's just over half a pint. So does that mean that you need how many pints of water with that? Four more of this. So why don't I pour this in first? So it went up to this. It was just over half a pint. Didn't I tell you that? So let's just pour one and then is this, this water? This is just over half, right? Yes. And I need how many more? Three more. Another three? Hmm. I didn't know I was going to have to help out with this. So this is four parts water and one part vinegar. I will leave it soaking in here for at least 20 minutes. And then we rinse off and then store in the fridge. Well, it has certainly been a little bit over 30 minutes. So I think that these strawberries have been bathed in the vinegar bath so i'm not going to entirely pour out all the liquid because i'm gonna use this vinegar water to descale our kettle because vinegar also does wonders on the leftover residues in the bottom of your kettle so that's another trick for you to keep in mind so now we will just rinse off this excess vinegar and then it should be Good as gold for three weeks. Now the 
strawberries are going to be perfect for a few weeks time so you don't really have to worry about them getting moldy in the fridge so happy eating everyone thank you for watching our show today please continue to like comment and subscribe thank you very much